וריסיה פולמאני, agroplants.org, this plant, it's a fit, leaf plant, it's bromelad, it's a perennial green, and used as ornamental plant in variety of climate, can grow in the tropical, Mediterranean or subtropical, but mostly as a house plant. Even if you grow it in the Mediterranean or subtropical, better to grow it as a house plant. Uh, if you would like to grow it, either you can purchase it. There is a link below. There is a link in the right top side. And this is actual donation. And don't forget to subscribe and check other videos. So Hardenay Zone will be from 10B, but better to have from 11B. Uh, it's required uh, actually tropical climate and tropical uh, condition can survive but you know when you grow a plant you don't want that just it will survive uh, so be aware of this uh, the flowers are not very significant uh, but the brackets uh, this is a showy part uh, this is what you actually see the flowers are inside the brackets and they are not uh, very significant. The, the leaves are nice, uh, they are in rosette structure, uh, linear shape, as you can see, not just regular bromelads uh, plant. So some requirement and how to grow this plant. So how to grow? Uh, first, moist soil, uh, better with uh, well drain also. High humidity, it's, uh, it's help. You can grow it on woody part or a tree, uh, corks, I mean, of a tree. Uh, of course, frost-free minimum. The minimum will be to survive. It's five Celsius above, but in order to grow, I highly recommend above fifteen Celsius degree. Uh, I think it's important, and it's uh, very important not to let it suffer uh, over the winter. I said uh, before, and I really, really think that it will just won't bloom and will cause you some problem. So, some uh, how to grow it. So you can grow it from. Uh, seeds that are very very rare to get and very rare to have because it's hard uh, you can buy a plant or just a daughter plant uh, you can plant it uh, as a house plant or in the tropical all the year uh, if you live in the Mediterranean or subtropical let's say in hardiness zone of 10b or even 11a uh, spring will be the best season to take it outside uh, a lot of people, I understood, here at least, they take it outside in the summer, in the spring to the hot and bring it back in the winter. A uh, major problem that I would say, uh, it's blooming. A lot of time, uh, uh, there is a problem with blooming, you need to uh, provocate the blooming. With ethylene, it's uh, with rotten apple or stuff like this. There is uh, in another video of bromelad that I have. I already explained about a little bit. That, so the concept is simple. You take a nylon, a bag ni nylon bag. Uh, you wrap it around the plant. You put uh, an apple, rotten apple, and it's release ethylene to the air. In the moment that it's released, it's provoked uh, some. Uh, this is a basic, of course. It's more complicated than this, but it's release a gas ethylene. And in the moment that it's released, it's provoked uh, blooming. Of course, rich soil is uh, very important in order to bloom. It's a slow growing plant, even in the right condition. And the height will be from 20 to 60 centimeter. It's mean like 12 to 24 inches. A big amount of water, uh, better that will be in the, uh, the middle of the plants, always to keep a little, a little water to put the water from the middle. Uh, I don't know why, but it's actually, maybe because in the nature it uh, absorbs the water of the rain, it's always uh, in the rainy places, it gets the water and it's uh, always keep kept in the middle of the plant, uh, so maybe this is the reason. Uh, the light, light exposure, I would highly recommend full shade, half shade, it's okay, be aware that if you live in a very very hot pla uh, place with a hot summer, uh, it will be burned. Even in half shade, it might be burned, uh, so try not, at least not uh, direct, uh, let's say, uh, 2 o'clock sun, but uh, if you can have a little bit morning and afternoon sun, it will be okay with the plant. And this is why it's a great house plant, because uh, actually it's growing full shade very easily, with the light, of course. Uh, as I said before, it's about the blooming. Uh, if you provocate, you can have all the year. Here mostly it's bloom from the autumn to the early spring, 
uh, it's a long period of blooming you have like few months of the same flower uh, mostly one or two uh, it's one in the middle or even uh, two if you have two plants that connected together with daughter plants uh, if you have daughter plants you can put it in a different pot or just to increase the pot don't forget that if you grow it in a pot uh, or a container uh, check that uh, there isn't too much roots in the, there is enough place I mean for this plant especially if you have daughter plants they take more and more place be aware that you increase the amount uh, the size of the pot that you have except this it's uh, a lot of people grow it as bouquet uh, as an annual plant because they get it with the flowers it's very beautiful uh, just they keep it I don't know why to do it but uh, because you can have it uh, next year uh, I'm assuming that I know why actually why because of the problem with the with the flowers that it's a lot of time not blooming to people so be aware that it's you can solve it it's not a problem and you can have the same plant with daughter plants and really big and beauty and just to enjoy from this that's all from growplants.org don't forget to subscribe visit our website and of course if you have any question just ask you have here links about more videos some list, subscribe, and of course, purchase a plant, and this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy, and come visit us again.